Lepcha language, or Rong language Lepcha, Rong Ring, is a Himalayish language spoken by the Lepcha people in Sikkim and parts of West Bengal, Nepal and Bhutan. Population Lepcha is spoken by minorities in the Indian states of Sikkim and West Bengal, as well as parts of Nepal and Bhutan. Where it is spoken, it is considered to be an aboriginal language, pre-dating the arrival of the Tibetan languages Sikkimese, Zonka, and others and more recent Nepali language. Lepcha speakers comprise four distinct communities, the Renjongmu of Sikkim, the Tamsangmu of Kalimpong, Kursung, and Murak, the Alamu of Ilam district, Nepal, and the Promu of southwestern Bhutan. Lepcha speaking groups in India are larger than those in Nepal and Bhutan. The Indian census reported 50,000 Lepcha speakers, however, the number of native Lepcha speakers in India may be closer to 30,000. Classification Lepcha is difficult to classify, but George Van Dream 2001 suggests that it may be closest to the Mahakaranti languages, a subfamily of the Himalayish languages. Lepcha is internally diverse, showing lexical influences from different majority language groups across the four main Lepcha communities. According to Plezier 2007, these Nepali and Sikkimese Tibetan influences do not amount to a dialectical difference. Topic: <laughs> Austroasiatic substratum. Roger Blench 2013 suggests that Lepcha has an Austroasiatic substratum which originated from a now extinct branch of Austroasiatic that he calls Ranjic. Lepcha words of Austroasiatic origin identified by Blench 2013 are as follows. Topic: <laughs> Features. Lepcha is a non-tonal Sino-Tibetan language, although it does have phonemic stress or pitch that may be marked in the Lepcha script. Much of its lexicon is composed of monosyllabic elements, notably, words that are commonly considered obscene or taboo in other languages are not treated as such by native speakers. <laughs> <laughs> script and romanization The Lepcha script also known as Rong, is a syllabic script featuring a variety of special marks and ligatures. Its genealogy is unclear. Early Lepcha manuscripts were written vertically, a sign of Chinese influence. Prior to the development of the Lepcha script, Lepcha literary works were composed in the Tibetan script. Lepcha language is romanized according to varying schemes, the prevailing system being that of Mainwaring 1876. Most linguists, including Plezier 2007, whose system is used in this article, have followed modified versions of Mainwaring's system. Other linguists and historians have used systems based on European languages such as English, French, and German. Phonology <laughs> 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 Consonants Lepcha consonants appear in the chart below, following Plezier 2007. Retroflex phonemes and are written in Lepcha script as kr, our, and gr, respectively. Most, though not all, instances of retroflex consonants indicate a word as of Tibetan origin. To distinguish this retroflex sound in Lepcha script, a dot may be written underneath. Native instances of non-retroflex, kr, our, and gr may be pronounced either as written or as tr, thr, and doctor. For example, tagrakup, boy, may be said either ta ri kp, or ta i kp. Lepcha has three glide consonants that may occur after certain initial consonants, r, j, and l. When the phoneme, r, operates as a glide, it can combine with j, as a double glide, mariom, to spread over the ground, creep. Notably, syllables with the glide, l, are given their own independent forms in the Lepcha script, velar consonants, k, and, preceding front vowels, i, or, e, are palatalized as, k, and, respectively. Fricatives, s, and, are merged before, i, Lepcha speakers tend not to distinguish between, z, and, pronouncing both as, z, tilde, d, z, tilde. 
Additionally, initial is occasionally realized as under the influence of Nepali, some Lepcha speakers have lost the distinction between p and f and between v and with of the above phonemes, only per meter, n, k, t, p, r, and l may be syllable final. Native speakers tend to neutralize the difference between final, n, and in syllable final position, stops are realized as an unreleased stop, usually pronounced with a simultaneous, for example, k becomes k. Vowels According to Plezier 2007, Lepcha has eight vowels The phoneme denoted by I acute is shortened and appears in closed syllables, I is longer and appears in open syllables. The phoneme, E, is realized as E in open syllables and in closed syllables before, or, K. Closed syllables ending in, P, per meter, L, N, R, and, T, show free variation between, E and even distinctions between o and are often lost among non-literate speakers particularly those highly fluent in nepali language which does not contrast the sounds topic <laughs> grammar lepcha grammar features nouns pronouns adjectives adverbs and verbs word order is typically subject object verb sov Lepcha morphology is somewhat agglutinative, though most bare Lepcha lexicon is made up of one or two syllable words. Nouns are arranged into either head first or head last noun phrases. Relative clauses and genitive phrases precede nouns, whereas markers for demonstratives, definiteness, number, case, and other particles follow the noun. Lepcha is an ergative language, where the ergative case indicates transitivity and completedness of the event. There is no grammatical agreement between different parts of speech i.e. verb conjugation. Adjectives follow nouns they modify, function as predicates, or stand independently as nominal heads. Adverbs generally directly precede verbs, and reduplication is generally productive for adverbs of time e.g. mom, year, nom nom, yearly. Topic. Nouns. According to Plezier 2007, Lepcha has only two true cases that modify the noun morphologically, the definite article re and the dative case marker m. All other noun markers, including for example the genitive marker, are actually in variable postpositions. A series noun markers may follow a single noun. Together, these cases and postpositions are Plurals are marked differently according to whether they are human sang or non-human nouns. Notably, the plural is not used when the noun is followed by a number. According to Plezier, 2007, Lepcha personal pronouns are as follows. Oblique forms appear in italics above. Lepcha personal pronouns can refer only to humans, otherwise demonstratives are used. Personal pronouns may take the definite article re. Topic: <laughs> Thematic classes. Many Lepcha nouns can be grouped into one of several classes based on associated characteristics. For example, many animal names begin with the Lepcha script syllabic, saw, sar means, goat, serium means, otter, salak means, rhinoceros, and sahu means, monkey. Other noun classes include, saw, and, ka, for plants, and, pe, or, pa, for snakes and bamboo products. Topic. Verbs Lepcha verbs generally function predicates or, in relative clauses, as modifiers before a head noun. Verbs may also be nominalized by a combination of suffixes. For example, zo eat, may be suffixed to produce zo shangri eating. Many intransitive verbs incorporate a causative, y, infix, sometimes followed by a, t, suffix, to take a transitive sense, mock, die. Mayak, kill, pla, come forth, playa, bring forth, glue, fall down, gliat, gliat, drop. Verbs are followed by grammatical suffixes and particles. Verbal particles indicating sureness, polite requests, authoritativeness, dubiousness, and other nonlexical information follow clauses. 
Below is a chart of such verb and clause final suffixes and particles largely following Plezier 2007. Verbs are negated by a circumfix, ma and e, ku, to be able, becomes ma ku ne, to be unable. See also Lepcha script Sikkimese Tibetan language Languages of Nepal Languages of India Languages of Bhutan <laughs>